Yeah. I've only ever done one tweet. And it, I've got 36,000 followers. <laughs> which, if you worked it out on a follower per tweet ratio, <laughs> I'm the most successful person ever on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> what did tweet. you tweet? I tweeted, due to a series of imposters, I have been forced to set up a Twitter account. Now go f*** yourself. <laughs> <laughs> That's bloody beautiful, that is, what you said there. That's beautiful. <laughs> They've been talking about the whaling. The Japanese tried to reintroduce uh, whaling. You know, the <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> What's wrong with whaling? They're <laughs> 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 very therapeutic qualities, whales, aren't they? Their whale song is supposed to be relaxing. You know, that, that noise, they're sort of like... Oh! <laughs> I think no, it sounds more like they're faxing. <laughs> Louis? <laughs> did, you get, did you get that? <laughs> that sounds like G4. The whale brothers. <laughs> David, you seem to have nailed your colours to a different mast tonight. <laughs> well, did you ask not to be with me? Because no. last time I was with you, and you seemed to not like it. <laughs> and now I'm over here yeah. <laughs> with Louis Walsh. <laughs> I think you're perfect boy band material, aren't you? <laughs> the reason they're laughing, he's probably treading on a fox's neck. <laughs> <laughs> they love that kind of thing. Who's the boy at the back? Prince think... Harry, you know Harry. that! Who does he want to fire him at? God, the chances of getting a genuine discussion of global politics here are slim. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think it's a good idea, Dave? Well, I think the lesbian groups are delighted because it gives them a chance to have another camping trip. Jimmy, leave them alone. They're on my team. Sorry, Sean. You can live on the moon. Like, imagine us living on the moon. Like, imagine, well, like, you... imagine you go on a website you can just see us, like, living on it. We're like, Hold on a sec. I'm just going to do that. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> that goes quite far. Uh. You look something out of uh, the Muppets. Have <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got paper flexible joints as well? Yeah, I have. Can them you bend your elbows right back? I can't bend them right back, but I can do weird sort of. No, that's things. just being camp. <laughs> <laughs> I go for ugly, stupid women. <laughs> <laughs> really ugly, really stupid. <laughs> so then people come up to me and they go, "You're too good for her, mate." <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't be with her. They go, ah, oh, there she goes. Third, third. <laughs> <laughs> <Come on! laughs> combing her hair with a shoe. <laughs> Bossy, violent, homicidal tendencies. You're along the right lines. Yeah. I tell you what, What's Carol, you'd make a great detective sidekick. <laughs> <laughs> I felt Come like move. Morse. Come I felt like Morse, and you were my Lewis. There, very much. <laughs> I can see a pattern emerging <laughs> here. <laughs> Two thirds of judges. Are in favour of what? I think I think they'd be in favour of. I think I, I think it's a really good. If all the jury all wore fancy dress, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, one, like village people. One's a pirate, <laughs> one's a cowboy, one's a spaceman, and they what go. What made you think a pirate? <laughs> 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 I think the thing about the people are so shameless now. It's very very little they can embarrass. People. Like a couple of hundred years ago, it'd be like leaving your glove in a gentleman's carriage. <laughs> <laughs> Shame. <laughs> So, I don't know, 75% of actors have uh, uh, a harem. Have a harem, yeah. I thought you said a heron. Like a big <laughs> giant crane, like a heron. Like, this is an ostentatious thing. Instead of a feather boa, I have a heron. You could probably throw that and go, get me a f***ing heron. Yeah. What was the percentage you got? 75% of actors. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> They've been talking about 20 million people might die if the bird flu kicks off. We're all right, we're blokes, aren't we? <laughs> Someone had to say it, Vic, and I'm glad it was you. See what I've done there? Yeah, yeah, it's just the birds that are going to get it, isn't it? <laughs> if only, Vic. And then me and you could just run yeah. off together into the sunset. <laughs> <laughs> like we did last week. Yeah. I've been in a supermarket and people come and say, what are you doing here? You know, and I'm like, well, I'm doing my shopping. I'm by... Every now and again, I've got to eat. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like they think there's a celebrity Asda. Somewhere, you know, that we all go to. There is actually, Les, you haven't been invited. That was nice, the little showbiz. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Would you do it? Nice. No way. 
I hate spiders. I hate moths. Moths? Moths! moths. <laughs> That's just a black and white up here now. <laughs> you hate moths? It's just a black and white butterfly. <laughs> I got home the other day, right, and I saw this massive moth, right, in my bathroom. You saw a moth in your bathroom? Yeah, right? I needed to have a shower and I was too scared to go in. So what I did is I went in with this You're super... You were too scared? I went into the bathroom, right, with this super strong hairspray. What? <laughs> And you did the moth. moth's hair? No. <laughs> I sprayed this moth, shut the door, waited for a minute, saw it on the floor, sprayed it, and then literally oh. crucified it like it was just stuck. <laughs> Poor moth is there. He's blind. He ain't blind. Is he blind? Yes. Now you feel bad, don't you? <laughs> Basically, you've gone up to a blind person and just <laughs> sprayed hairspray in their face. I always talk to people with dogs. Because you, if you want to cuddle the dog, you generally have to ask, don't you? It's amazing how much people will talk to you if you throw beer in a dog's face. <laughs> <laughs> well, talk to one of the you. If you, you just throw a pint of beer in a dog's face, <laughs> people start talking to you. you say, they can first they say, what are you doing? And then you say, conversation star. Yeah. <laughs> Back to the chat. Usually, yeah. the, usually the conversation is, I'm blind and now my dog is drunk. Brilliant. <laughs> Oh, you just, I just, I lie, I tell lies. I go to someone and go, I wrote the Birdie song. <laughs> not, not all of it, I didn't write all of it. I got stuck on diddle diddle diddle. <laughs> <laughs> then, within a minute, everyone's chatting. And you get bored, you throw a beer in a dog's face. <laughs> <laughs> okay, best way to start a conversation in a bar. You buy them a drink. Well, offer to buy a drink is number two. What, what, are, the other, what are the other things are people you say? What's number five? OK, so Tell it's... me number five, Jimmy. <laughs> Ask to borrow a lighter. Can I borrow your lighter? Yeah, not like that, Sean. <laughs> there's loud music playing in the pub. I have to shout. Bloody loud music in here. Can I borrow your lighter? <laughs> I said lighter, you stupid <laughs> that Camilla only cost the taxpayer 2,000 quid. I wouldn't pay more for her. <laughs> it's a lot of hay, isn't it? <laughs> 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 and Phil, what else have the nation been talking about? I think they've been talking about the, the guy who gave away... He gave away $30 billion to Bill Gates, another, another very rich man. He gave it to the Bill Gates Foundation? Yes. Is the man's name Warren Buffett? Warren Buffet. <laughs> that is uh, where he made his money. He invented the buffet in the <laughs> and he gets a percentage on every buffet that's ever held. Mm. Well, some would say it was, bought, it was invented by Laszlo Smorgasbord. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he never patented it. <laughs> I like the idea of, of, of what sort of thank you he expected. Because you hand someone that much money, you expect pretty big thank you, don't you? You expect someone to go, oh, oh, thank you. <laughs> and I like that Bill Gates went, oh, cheers, I'll just leave it Is it the chocolate? Cadbury's have, re have called back a load of chocolate bars because they said they were, had salmonella in them. 250 million? Yeah, something like that, doesn't matter really. A huge number. Once you've gone over 10, I just lose, do I get too excited? <laughs> <laughs> How much chocolate? They also say. Right at the weekend, it really affected sales of uh, chocolate. Nobody put me buying a box of chocolates and presents as presents for ladies or anything like that, because it's all because the lady loves a month off work. Ladies <laughs> 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 oh. get paid less, they don't get a trophy, they just get a plate. <laughs> but it does fit in a dishwasher. <laughs> 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 no, I thought the real telly thing was that, as you see David, David Cameron on Jonathan Ross, and he's such a sort of publicity junkie now. And uh, they had Martina Navratilova all over on, and Jonathan Ross cut to the green room where David Cameron said, "What do you think about it?" He goes, "Yes, I think we should definitely look into it." <laughs> uh, Don't worry, I'll sort that out. Any problems, I'll sort them out. Like he's fucking Batman. <laughs> <laughs> he did the paedophile in the loft. <laughs> Stop feeding him. <laughs> <laughs> We need the rent. <laughs> he comes down at night. He's all right. <laughs> <laughs> is it that, sir? No, it isn't that. Is it that, Mr Carr? Giving <laughs> directions when in the car reading the map. Are you good at reading the map, Jay? I don't know where to go when the line finishes. <laughs> I just wish, I'd like, I'd like this point, I'd just like to say, I wish this was a foreign film and that was in subtitles. <laughs> it's an art house cinema. Oh, right. <laughs> 
62% of people who claim to hear the voice of God say that he has a posh accent. Is that true or false? Well, firstly, I'm worried that you're polling people true. who hear the voice of God. <laughs> it's funny when people hear voices. They always hear voices to make them do bad things. Never hear voices say, go home, do the washing up, go to bed early. <laughs> Have a nice mug of cocoa. <laughs> really, I should be out killing people. <laughs> <laughs> I had a voice in my head and it got bored with me. <laughs> Something was going on in China, I don't know, and sent it off to people and it got printed. Yeah, it's like yes. news night. <laughs> <laughs> Have you got any pets, Carol? No. No? Right. Thanks. <laughs> I love chatting with you, it's great fun. <laughs> Most dangerous driving habit? Is it when you, uh, you sell a tape of cushion to your face? Like that. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see a bloody thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's hardly surprising, women own less, with that story in the week about the air hostess. Did you see that story? There's an air hostess yeah. on a virgin flight, mm -hmm. a bit of turbulence, she went, we're all going to die! She's going to crash! <laughs> we're going to die! <laughs> well, Normally people it. complain about a lack of information, don't they? You know, <laughs> <laughs> go on, go on. You're on two bob and a dozen eggs. <laughs> <laughs> two bob and a dozen eggs. You really understand women. <laughs> Top hobby for women. Shopping, retail therapy, bashing the credit card, buying a load of in sales that you're never going to wear because it was a bargain. That sounded almost like a rat. <laughs> Yeah, sisters. Thing. Is it nagging? <laughs> is it sisters? <laughs> what do you do? do you, yeah. I mean, do you, I mean, you're women here. There's lots of women here. I mean, what the hell do you do with your spare time? That might help us. If you put your brains together, girl... <laughs> don't you like, you know, Carol, making you little do? things? I don't yeah, I love making things, Just making sure, little I things. I haven't got the time, have I? What? what? Too busy yeah. doing the washing. Do none, of, none of you like, do you know, like, falconry or anything like that? Yeah, I'd love to falconry. do falconry, sure. Yeah. <laughs> you can get a big There ain't enough hours in the day. I'll go see you. now tonight and do some falconry. Oh, I'd love to do it, but we'd all love to do a bit of falconry, Sean. Yes. Well, think about well, you, Sean, if you really understand women. Yeah. <laughs> it's an obvious hobby. Shooting. They like going shooting. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I know. I've actually dealt with. I know how to deal with bears. Uh, I know that I wouldn't want to. It's very easy to deal with. A lot of people get frightened. There's no need to be frightened. The thing about bears is, is you just let them come at, come at, come at you. Just keep them as fast as they want. Just stand still. And when they're about Six inches away, just do this, just go, whoa, like that. <laughs> they've got those big, round feet, they've got no mobility. They just go, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Rachel, have you ever done anything bad at a funeral? No, my friend's got a nervous laughter, and they've just started pissing themselves at a funeral once. Oh, no, that's okay. You can normally <laughs> mask that, because even if you, if you laugh really heavily, if you try and stifle a laugh, it's sort of you've got the shoulders going, and that can <laughs> look you're like you're crying. You can just cover the... You can normally get away with it. Yeah, but that doesn't help, does it? <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think it's, 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 a, it's actually there's the Jordan thing, who we dislike, and she's on the unpopular list, and then I think there's the Katie Price thing that will pop up on all the popular lists if we did one of those. His name's not Katie Price, it's Jordan. I know more. She's changed. That's another. That's yeah. That is. That pisses me off most of all. <laughs> it's called Jordan, and suddenly she goes, "I'm Casey Price." It's a bit like Noddy going, "Actually, my name's Derek Grantby." <laughs> Cameron as well. Cameron's involved in it. He had dinner at Christmas, and they won't. They won't say. He had dinner at Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> It's a monster! <laughs> hey, Jimmy, Jimmy, I didn't finish the sentence. <laughs> <laughs> so you're the one looking stupid now. <laughs> no idea, I'm sorry, Sean. He had dinner at Christmas in a tutu. He was wearing a tutu and he was riding a pig. <laughs> Stop it! Yeah, flying a kite. So there, and I win. Um, you chat to your followers and then uh, this, this girl was, uh, was clever, obviously clever and she was funny, and I looked at her picture and I thought, someone posh <laughs> how they speak how they speak you think that's what makes someone posh 100% I think I think it's more that you can always nearly with a real posh person you could always see their teeth <laughs> <laughs> I think a, really, a really posh person looks like a normal person halfway through a sneeze like <gasps> <laughs> 
<laughs> and also, posh people, they don't know how to put on a jumper, do they? <laughs> They get a jumper and they go, oh, bloody... Oh, I'll just put it over my shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> it's all like mating, kind of. <laughs> yeah, what, Sean, what else have the nation been talking about this week? It's the nut... Ah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> the Tory party conference. Oh, you love it. I was marvelled at their... It, just, it was brilliant, wasn't it? Did you enjoy it? Oh, the part when I came on. Oh, did you? <laughs> yeah. I didn't see that, so I missed that bit. <laughs> <laughs> OK, fingers on buzzers, two more to get. Sean. Is it the Jimmy Carr tax scandal? <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look at the Rolling Stones. I think they look like a great collection of Toby jugs. <laughs> <laughs> I think the most important thing a woman wants in a man, you know, is, is where he puts towels. That seems to be an obsession. <laughs> so you guys know about the towel thing. But I don't understand it. It's a sign. Oh, now I've, now I've become the woman in this relationship. <laughs> well, what do you mean It's now? not about the towel, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> oh. what the towel represents. Do you know what it says to me, Sean? You've got out of the shower and you thought, yeah, I'll let John get that towel. <laughs> what are you, you know doing when you in this... my bathroom? <laughs> Picking your towels up, that's what I'm doing, young man. <laughs> Shop from Amazon. I was, I was, I, I had a Kindle. I loved Kindle. I had loads of them. I liked them so much. <laughs> I had a whole bookshelf for Kindle. <laughs> yeah. Then I found out that Amazon don't pay any tax, and I had to get rid of all these Kindles I was giving away. I said, "There's Pride and Prejudice." <laughs> Sean, have you ever embarrassed your partner? Nothing's pleased to mind. It's incredible. For well, example, what, we've what's got a list here of embarrassing, what is embarrassing things. Okay, tripping over in public. If you just trip over, that's not embarrassing. <laughs> Funny. How is it not embarrassing to trip over in the street? Why is that embarrassing? People trip over. Not everything's level. We don't live <laughs> on a snooker table. <laughs> that's too much <laughs> <it's impossible. laughs> oh, I had sex with a tramp recently. <laughs> I didn't have any change, and you can't just walk past and give them nothing. Can you? <laughs> I wouldn't drink the water around the X Factor. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they put something in the tea, and you can get the most hard hearted person who'll drink the tea and just go, <laughs> <laughs> I just saw a pigeon. <laughs> it's <been> flying. <laughs> Why? I would like to heckle the uh, guided tours. <laughs> He's lying. Pharaohs, they're from Ireland. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, have a proper guess then. 7% of museum visitors have what? I've wondered what it was like in the olden days. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder. 67% of game show contestants describe appearing on television as the most exciting thing that has ever happened to them. True or false? She looked horrified. She like she'd been given, uh, you know, tickets for a dinner with Mick Hucknall or something. <laughs> 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 Oh, I don't want to be here. <laughs> <laughs> the thing about game shows, they always say to contestants, don't they? Don't they? they always say to some, uh, fun, you know, there's a funny thing happened to you once, didn't they? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. With biscuits or something. <laughs> yeah. And there you go, oh, yes, yeah, I bought, uh, bought some uh, rich tea and uh, I got them home and it turned out, I forgot if you got it wrong, actually, but we, we like digestives. <laughs> <laughs> and those are the usual stories they tell. So you can see that, that actually the anecdotes they have in their life are so pitiful that television probably would blow their minds. <laughs> I think it's uh, absolutely spot on, Jimmy. That statistic isn't a statistic, it's a fact. <laughs> well, I'm I can staring you... down the barrel of the truth there. <laughs> and I'm saying yes. I can tell you that the answer is false. <laughs> The world's worst taste. Crow omelette. <laughs> <laughs> Get it, crow. All of that. Eggs. <laughs> <laughs> well, it'd be Jose, wouldn't it, because they're Argentinian? Well, no, there's one called Dave. Is there? Yeah. An Argentinian called Dave? Yep. Yeah, you know the one, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> it was Dave Lopez. <laughs> I'll give you a clue. It's a vegetable. Oh, a banana. Brussels sprout. <laughs> <laughs> Correct answer, Jermaine. Oh. Yeah, well done. <laughs> Worst thing about gyms. And a gym is. <laughs> <laughs> what I hate about gyms 
everything's so bloody heavy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, you think, in this day and age, you have to make them so bloody heavy. But that's when you... Cos he was being a moose. He was being a moose? No, yeah. moose is like this. <laughs> <laughs> Problem facing dogs. My brother really loves his dog, I think, a bit too much. And you know. You know <laughs> no, no, not in that way. Cow! <laughs> that was, of course, Peggy Mitchell there. That was like watching the, the Chuckle Brothers with wigs on. Yeah. <laughs> is it yeah. acting? Acting isn't acceptable. It's not a proper job, is it? Works. <laughs> no. It's just, <laughs> it's just you've got to read out loud without giggling. Really? Is it? <laughs> Are you sure you know what you're talking about? Because I didn't think the Olympics even start, because I thought you was having it here. <laughs> no, you're absolutely right. The Olympics isn't on. I'm mental. I don't know what. What are you talking about? The Winter Olympics. <laughs> Will you shut up? We're just <laughs> mad. Hey, right. I am living the dream, but I walked out right on a street, a London street, with no one else around, and who do I bump into? Was it Batman? <laughs> <laughs> Is it sneaking up on people? Yeah. Is it? Is it? Yeah. <laughs> you wouldn't get much work in porn, would you, going? <laughs> 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 oh, <laughs> there are times of really fancy cigarette, and it's going to be quite—it's going to be quite tricky. Like you know, if you just cheated death in an air disaster, <laughs> you really want to have a cigarette then? <laughs> I reckon that they'll let you. Yeah, do you reckon? If you've just cheated death in an air disaster, <laughs> yeah. But you I won't care anyway, will you? Yeah. Just go yeah. off. So. Yeah. <laughs> it depends. I mean, there's certain conversations I wish I had taped in my life. Which I... conversations do you wish you'd taped? Well, they're, you know, little private, quiet conversations that I wish... Uh, they're, they're, they're distant memories now, and, and uh, I really enjoyed them when I was having them, so... Uh... <laughs> I wish I'd taped... The other day I ordered a pizza. I wish I'd taped the conversation. As I said, no olives. <laughs> Turns yeah. out it's got olives in it. I said, I said no olives. He said, no, you didn't say that, mate. If I taped it, yeah. I could have got I it know and rubbed it in his <laughs> Why do they wear white trilbies, bakers? I didn't understand that. They're really like, into Michael Jackson. There's jazz about them. <laughs> <laughs> Using a baguette as a stick. <laughs> I, I thought, actually, that one of the problems is, is a language problem, isn't it, with the Australian builders? Because they used to have the rising inflection. Don't they? When they finish a sentence, they, they rise up as if it's a question. So I think when they say, like, tomorrow you'll start work at eight... <laughs> ..you'll go, that probably means about half ten. <laughs> yeah, we actually have so much fun. Like, everything we do, we have so much fun. Like, you don't have to, like, drink or smoke to have fun. Yeah, but you just go like that. Wow! <laughs> Long time since I lived on my own. What I miss, uh, I like about living on my own is all the songs I used to make up. <laughs> Get a put the kettle on and make a cup of tea now. <laughs> make myself a cup of tea with sugar. Cup <laughs> tea for sure. Shall we have a biscuit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, no, you're <laughs> <laughs> come on eight out of ten cuts just to slam an unemployed pensioner. <laughs> Good on you. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, by the way, if you're watching... <laughs> I'm going to kill your cats. <laughs> Get your joke. I'm not a doctor, but I'll have a go. I'll All have right, a well, let's see if It's like a concaveness. That's disgusting. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Can we get the diagnosis? What is the matter with his...? It's called pectus excavatum. Because oh. it's an excavated chest. <laughs> so someone excavated it. <laughs> <laughs> I bet it was Tony Robinson. <laughs> you don't need a doctor, you need a plasterer. <laughs> <laughs> can I ask a question? Of course you can. Divine, that my memory is not wiped out by that. Yours, maybe. <laughs> but, do they not hit kids in Ireland? <laughs> it's a romantic thing, because I do a romantic thing with Chicken Kiev, is I get the Chicken Kiev and I'll give her a straw, and me a straw, <laughs> and we'll, we'll pierce the Chicken Kiev. And... <laughs> <laughs> she 
you suck the fluid out I together. Do you do that? Yeah, until one of us, uh, uh, her eyes water. Yeah. <laughs> and then we're both sick. Yeah. <laughs> Best way to make someone cry. Sometimes I don't tell my kids how hot the food is. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not hot, eat it. <laughs> I might be about to do my first joke as a team captain. <laughs> so stay tuned. <laughs> John, cost, cost. don't want to put the pressure on you, but make sure it's good. <laughs> I mean, you can judge. You can judge. Yeah. Close up on Sean as I deliver the uh, gag. Um, <laughs> I wasn't at the party, of course, because most comedians do gigs on New Year's Eve. So does Imogen Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> I used to work in, um, in a dog food factory. And my job was to make sure the dog food really stank. <laughs> because, you know, when people... So that people don't confuse it with normal meat. So they put, you have to put this stuff in it. You know when you open a tin of dog food and you go, oh. <laughs> and I had to put this, this stink stuff, I used to mix it up, this stink stuff. And as it came past, I used to just put a bit in. And one day I mixed it up a bit too strong. And a lot of people complained the company was sued because it was so strong people were opening and snapping their necks. <laughs> They were getting yeah. whiplash from dog food. <laughs> whiplash because I'd made it too stinky. <laughs> I put forward a Bond theme and they didn't go for it. <laughs> well, well, that's a shame. What was, what was yours? Bond on a bike, Bond on a boat. <laughs> Bond with his hands around a middle and throat. Skyfall, Skyfall! <laughs> Skyfall, Skyfall! Da 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 da! Hey! <laughs> <laughs> I think your view of magic and mine may be different. I'm not sure whether that is magic. What is that? What is that? that, was that was really I mean, I'm mesmerised. Thank God you got into comedy shows. <laughs> I don't have my props with me. <laughs> <laughs> what I do, if I have burglars, I've got a burglar's outfit by the bed. And I dress up in it. <laughs> and I go downstairs and I go, there's nothing up there. <laughs> I'm jet. Let's get out of here. He's got a big dog, he's a bit nuts. Let's get out of here. <laughs> percent of men have thought about, but not got round to, what? <laughs> Take it away, Vic. <laughs> <laughs> Points in oh, the bag. Uh, it's, it's obvious, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it's obvious. The octopus thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like digging it out, putting an octopus on the head <laughs> with many bells on the tentacles. <laughs> no, no. Is that the answer? No, of course it's no. not. <laughs> we're just messing around. We're, we're just messing your back, Jimmy. We're just messing your back. <laughs> Smashing your back with stupid answers. Christian. <laughs> is, it, is it smashing in James Blunt's face? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Sean, what do you think? Is it put their record collection in a, you know, a weird order, like order the fatness of the singer? <laughs> They've got Meatloaf at one end, Prince at the other end. So Elton John moves up and down all the time. <laughs> at the other end, you've got your Danny Minogue. It's not that most blokes would have one of hers in the record collection, but I don't know. Is What's it that? What's wrong with Danny Minogue? You <laughs> said that like you're in a sort of East End comedy. What's wrong with Danny yeah. Renaud? <laughs> You've got a problem with Danny? You come to me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to tell you, it is in fact 12% of men have thought about but not got round to doing voluntary work. One in five pet owners love what? Testing out shampoo at home. On them. <laughs> love. <laughs> I'm not using that one. I do think you should, Quells. Because when I went on hunting, I only said that you showed ferrets, rabbits. You went hunting? You sure you weren't working for Red to Kill? No. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't hitting rats with a shovel. <laughs> that was Bonnie Langford without a celebrity. <laughs> Have you seen her, Bonnie Langford, in that show? Yeah. I've never seen anyone look so pleased to be on television. <laughs> Looks like she's going to explode if she gets any happiness. <laughs> <She's... laughs> Been to the zoo where they mix the fun fair and the zoo. I went there and I was going, and, and the, the, the roller coaster goes over the gorilla's cage. And I swear, as I was going over, one of the gorillas looked up and just saluted me. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, for my evolutionary superiority. <laughs> He's waiting for a go on a tyre. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
wearing a magic mouse going, woo! <laughs> <laughs> you beat me. Has <laughs> everyone in your family a cab driver? Yeah. My granddad was a cab driver. He claimed to fame as he drove, said he drove through the blitz. <laughs> I remember thinking to myself, who was driving around with a light on during the blitz? <laughs> <laughs> She's wearing a dress. Oh. <laughs> well, I don't know why they called it the news of the world. Anyway, because the last thing they were interested in was news from around the world. <laughs> the only thing they were interested in was tits and bums <laughs> and who's been near them. <laughs> Can you hold up the fingers? <laughs> I'm going to need everyone's fingers. Sorry, audience. <laughs> How many fingers in one hand? Five. Four. How many fingers in ten hands? Oh, shit. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no. What? <laughs> Ask him again. Ask him again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Question? Yeah, well, it's not Hi. difficult. Your top's not Hi. done up. So it's hard. To... <laughs> Do yourself, miss. Miss, do your top up and then we can get on with the maths. <laughs> Ask me yeah, a question what? with 11 in it. <laughs> Sean, have you taken any risks? I read a pop-up book about giraffes once. That was quite dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, I know why I was never a jockey. <laughs> it was the RSPCA, Johnny. Stop that. <laughs> <laughs> John Steen, what do you think people have been talking about over the last week? Oh, I forgot for that. <laughs> I get so nervous, on. I thought you were going to ask me first. <laughs> I, I just you get relax. so nervous in that moment. I go, who's he going to ask first? And you ask John. Phew. Yeah. <laughs> it's, not, it's not Sean and the twins. <laughs> I've got to say, it's true. You do look, we don't look like twins. We look like finalists in a what's Mika going to look like in 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> if it's it's your a documentary on OCD and you did look annoying. <laughs> I saw that show. I thought it was a bit of a mess. Have you been sitting on that joke all summer? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> totally worth it. Um... <laughs> Thanks, dude. <laughs> so West Coast went, yeah. totally worth it. <laughs> Cowabunga, Sean. <laughs> uh, most people love being the centre of attention, true or false. Most, I think most people don't like it, do they? Most people don't like it. That's why they've got f***s like us to take that space. <laughs> Would you like well, we obviously like to be the centre of attention. Sure. That's why we're sitting here with the lights on us. We're mic'd up. I've got my special shirt on. Jimmy's lost all that fat round his throat. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not even a Jackson looky-like, sound alike -y, look alike -y. He's and just a not in anything at all alike -y. He's like a vaguey, bitty, tiny bitty like -y. OK, you're related. 36% of obsessive fans would be willing to swap a family member for their hero. Do you think it's true or false? We think it's true. Well, I can tell you that the answer is false. Oh. In fact, 72% of obsessive fans <laughs> would be willing to swap a family member for their hero. <laughs> Fair enough. If I could broker a deal to swap my auntie Gladys for David Beckham, I would. I'm not a massive fan of Beckham's or anything. I'd just like to see our midfield improved. <laughs> I've had a genuine nightmare once, uh, it was quite recently, and what it was was Sven Joran Eriksson, it's the night before the World Cup final, and he calls me in, calls me into his office and he says, I'm picking you for the England team. Yeah, and I'm going, no, no, I'm shit, don't pick me, I'm useless. I said, I'm not even in the team. He says, you are now, I've had a word with FIFA, he said, I've told all the players just to keep passing to you. <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm useless. And he's going, no, trust me, and I go out of the room, all the players are going, Wanker, piss off. <laughs> I'll pass to you. And I've had to and then I look in the mirror and I'm Peter Crouch. <laughs> <laughs> it was a bit of trouble as well, wasn't there? Some England fans kicked off. There was a, finally there was some trouble. Was everyone saying that England fans were behaving very well and there was a bit of trouble? I you know, I saw it coming because uh, before the World Cup I saw near me uh, there was a driving range adapted for chairs. <laughs> they were practicing like that. <laughs> <laughs> Just warming up for the World Cup. <laughs> in Sweden, there'd be no end of a vast variety of furniture to choose from. Yeah. <laughs> My favourite story of the week is the man who just chose to uh, sort out a problem with a digger. It's always the first way, isn't it? Yeah. He owed them some money. He used to have a car they had a caravan site and didn't pay their rent. And they sent him a letter. They said, well, you know, you owe us a thousand pounds, actually, in something. And he went, I'll show you a thousand pounds. And he came back with a digger. 
<laughs> and smashed their house up and all their cars. Do you want to have a look and see what the damage was? Yeah. <laughs> you, you, know, you see, to us, that is a photograph of terrible, terrible devastation. But to him, as a man that drives heavy plant, that's a bit like a CV or a calling card. Yeah. <laughs> well, apparently, he's very calm. Everyone said he was driving, he's very calm. Well, I like the idea that when the police got him out, he was going, It's all right, I've got the hang of it now. <laughs> <laughs> didn't do it first, but it's easy. That's left. But didn't, didn't, didn't he rent it as well? Didn't he rent yeah. the... Uh, yeah. the th he, so he, hired, he spent 450 quid hiring it. And they should have known when they're looking at the form, they're going, Hang on, he's ticked the box for revenge. You're going to try and text him with gloves on. You end up trying to say something like, Hi, how are you? And you end up saying, Back at the boost, Bob. Like, <laughs> another cup of tea and a biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> Is it Twix's? <laughs> <laughs> I never lost a Twix. It was a guess. <laughs> Imagine if you'd lost thirty-seven of them, though. <laughs> you'd stop buying them, wouldn't you? <laughs> what are you going to have? Mars bar? Twi I'm not having Twix. Keep losing. <laughs> I like the way it's a badge of honour. You said I've never lost a Twix. <laughs> <laughs> Fingers on buzzers. Is it the chip and pin card? If you're buying anything, you've got to know your pin number. You can't, you can't sign for it anymore. Is it that? Well, that's been a very big story this week. I think it's good because I've had money disappearing out of my bank account, going um, to what do you call it? Shopping on the internet. I don't even know how to use that, so that's not me. And also gambling. And I don't gamble. And apparently I've won a free bets and all, but I don't know how because I've never even been on it. <laughs> so this is the and I believe quite good. I feel like I'm on a bus. <laughs> <laughs> percent of dinner ladies see what as essential? Is it food? <laughs> <laughs> what about topless Friday? More <laughs> <laughs> fried food today. Come on. <laughs> I'll give you a clue. It's to do with a kitchen implement. Axe. An axe. <laughs> <laughs> what, about, what about, like, a serving spoon? It's not, uh, that would be higher than 10%, I feel. Yes, yeah. <laughs> no, no, they just do it with their hands. I don't know. <laughs> I reckon it's falling asleep on the submarine and waking up in the Ascension Islands. That's it. <laughs> Looking through the porthole. Is it KGB? It's not the KGB, it's related to that. Oh. B and Q. <laughs> B and Q is not related to the KGB. They would never. TBC. <laughs> no, no, no. CBBS. Yeah. <laughs> Correct. I'm afraid of CBBS. Yeah. If you or John was attacked, would you would you help out? The thing is, like, they might think I would help out. They might come after John, think it's me, and then kill John. And I'd be like, it was meant to be. Why me. would they be care which one? <laughs> <laughs> we met Barack Obama, okay, and he was what? like, yeah. <laughs> you're joking. <laughs> but why was he lost or something? How did this happen? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Barack Obama opened the wrong door and got lost. <laughs> Oh, what's going on there? And he switched the light on, and you two are there. He's about to end. Smile. Yeah. I'd gather my children around me, and I'd say, and you're my favourite. <laughs> you, you never... Could you make some more noise with your massive f***ing <laughs> shoes? <laughs> I think she should be on embarrassing bodies with a horse feet. <laughs> Feet of a Shire horse. <laughs> In a poll to find out who people would turn to for advice, Google, the internet search engine, came second. What came first? Um, don't know. It's not written there. <laughs> Kids should learn maths compulsorily until they're 18. Yeah. I mean, that's ridiculous. That's like 40 years. <laughs> <laughs> that's, it's 18 years. <laughs> Came from. <laughs> what I don't understand is why has he got handles on that thing? He's going to fall off it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so why? Why has he got like safety rope? All oh, careful. He's going to fall off. And to be honest, I wasn't impressed with the whole feat in any way. It's just <laughs> falling. Any idiot can fall. <laughs> Broken the record twice if he'd had a trampoline. He'd have oh, and when he jumps out of that thing, there's somebody in there and they push an anvil out after him. <laughs> <laughs> it's a race to the ground. Heston, you must have met some celebrity chefs in your time. Who, oh, who do you think yeah. sexiest? Yeah, loads. Uh, you looking at me, Jimmy? Or... No, Heston. Uh, <laughs> I did say Heston at the beginning. Why of are you that? looking at me then? 
Well, because you just said, are you looking at me? Was it... <laughs> 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 that seems perfectly natural. Well, why, well I mean, then make it mine, though. Who are you asking the question to? Are you asking Heston or me? When I said Heston... Well, there's no point using his name and then looking at me. You're still looking at me. Stop looking at me. <laughs> this is like a not. fight in a pub. You're are you looking you. at me? <laughs> You're yeah. a lot shorter than I remember, Sean. Yeah, what's going on? Why are you sitting like that? Yeah, you're a lot... Where are his hands? Where are his hands? <laughs> I'm not... I haven't... What are you talking about? I'm shorter. You're ridiculous. shorter than I remember I you happy. being. Well, I'm sorry if you're not happy <laughs> with the height that I've presented to you tonight. I'm sorry. I didn't remember being booked on eight out of ten tallest people. <laughs> I was put on this show for that reason. I was put on this show for some of the opinions I've got on some very, very serious issues. Now, let's you know, get like on to the questions. <laughs> it's really freaking me out, man. <laughs> A lot of sure, people you're... are uncomfortable because of my height and my arm span. <laughs> so, surely, someone as short as you shouldn't have big, long arms like this. Okay, go. Sorry about that. <laughs> are you auditioning for the role of Mr Tickle? <laughs> Can I just uh, ask? Go on, ask. What happened with his ex? Uh, John, John's, John's, yeah. Uh, she didn't exist. <laughs> she didn't exist. <laughs> gave a bit of a problem. Because she wasn't there and he was buying her things and she was just air. <laughs> and eventually he got quite cross with her for not really having a body. <laughs> so he finished with her? Yes, he, he went like this. I think she dumped him. <laughs> Top priority for single men buying a house. Is it a kitchen sink that flushes? <laughs> Is it one of those jewel encrusted steel telephone helmet? It goes like that. <laughs> and a massage glove. <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah, thinking yeah. we've got points in the bag. <laughs> the thing is that you've got Reese Witherspoon, who, uh, who earns $28 million a film. She's got all those pubs, right? <laughs> <laughs> And they're packed. <laughs> <laughs> no, you try to get served on a Friday. <laughs> you know that thing they say, if you leave your bags unattended, your luggage will be taken away and destroyed. That's the job I want. <laughs> I imagine there's a big, long room at Heathrow and there's some luggage at the end and me at the other end with a bazooka. <laughs> and I'll blow it up and there's just sun cream and knickers going everywhere. <laughs> Bloody, come down, bloody, like a bloody fresh train of life. you come in have a cup of tea, and you're telling me what the. Jesus Christ couldn't tell me what the thing do, never mind you. Sean's dad, then. <laughs> I, like the, I like the idea that he's going towards Shane Richie doing a Daz advert. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you two of this. <laughs> what I don't understand is, why can't they play tennis in the rain? Just get on with it. The ball's wet, they slip around, it's funnier. <laughs> why can't they play in the rain? So like You cricket. can play in a bit of light rain, it's fine. Yeah, but why can't they play in heavy rain? Why do they just play on if it's pissing down? Ah, it's all... <laughs> <laughs> just play the bloody game, get on with it. What's a rapper, then? Rapper's just, um What's the rapper? <laughs> 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 He's in his cardigan there. He's having a mug of tea. What do you need to know? <laughs> Tell me about this rapping. <laughs> the most annoying thing about going to the cinema, what, what do you think? The films. <laughs> well, really, you have to expect the there films. to be films. They're all <laughs> shit. <laughs> There's this old cockney walking along in front of me, like this. One. <laughs> and then he was building up to a sneeze, and he actually went, eh. <laughs> 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 And he went, hey, choo! <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, that's a Cockney sneeze. You couldn't put that up. No, you couldn't. That's a natural, that's a natural noise. My wife does a terrible thing. She doesn't give you any warning. Choo! <laughs> <laughs> well, there's no... Uh, uh, nothing. No warning. Just sitting there. Choo! <laughs> ah, oh, <laughs> s***! <laughs> 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 been shot. 28. Want a pickled onion? <laughs> Give, that, give those to Sean. Give them to me. There you go. You can, you can, you know. That, but that's the traditional way to impress a woman is that you. Yeah, it's a feat of strength. It's like a. It's I like... can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> just open it. It's just been opened, Sean. Yeah, it's a trick, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> no, it hasn't. 
I can't open it. <laughs> Give them to Daniel, he'll, he'll do it. You glued up. You've glued it up. <laughs> I haven't. You have. Why would I do... Why would I do that? It's easy, just twist it. You just twist... <laughs> twist the top. Twenty-eight percent of people think the government is hiding evidence of aliens. You shouldn't even be saying that. <laughs> For Christ's sake, Jimmy, that stuff should be kept under wraps. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, the truth is out there. Doof, doof, doof. <laughs> Man, you can't put that sh out there and blow their f***ing <laughs> minds. <laughs> yeah. Oh, They're not no. ready for it, Jimmy. I can't believe you said it. <laughs> <laughs> You know, do you know something I found out? That you know, when you buy ham in the supermarket, in a packet, there's cameras in there. <laughs> you, you, look in the, you look at the hang, oh, what's the sell by date on that? There's somebody watching you <laughs> in like a government office somewhere. <laughs> they're all just shocked. We're, we're, they're all going, going they're nice. all going, why isn't this on the news? Because <laughs> they won't let it out there. So <laughs> that's, what, that's the sign of games they're playing with us. <laughs> Once you know that, the aliens thing doesn't seem so weird then. No. <laughs> We've got a, apparently we've got a sound problem. Hang on one sec. What's the sound problem? We got well, obviously that's, they're trying to shut us down, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not f***ing shaking me! <laughs> <laughs> Whose mic is it? It's, it's, it's Sean's mic. You just saw it, it? Yeah. <laughs> 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 if this isn't proof of what I've been saying... <laughs> Yeah, let's shut Sean up. <laughs> 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 One of the things about Strick is they do the Paso Doble, the Cha Cha Cha, Foxtrot. They don't do things that dances that people normally do, like just pub dances. <laughs> <laughs> right. And now <laughs> it's Lewis and Tatiana dancing to Chumba Wumba. <laughs> <laughs> What are you going to go for, Sean? Doesn't matter what we say, it'll be covered up. <laughs> <laughs> They'll change my words to say what they want me to say. <laughs> Melanie, you're the only person that seems to be yeah. sane on your team. Put what you want in there. Yeah. Put what you want in there. Don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Put your life in there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who is Mr. Jangles, Sean? <laughs> Mr. Jangles comes up the stairs. <laughs> You've got to be in bed. <laughs> Show Before up. Mr. Jangles gets up there. <laughs> that's everybody's scared, Sean. That's just a bit, <laughs> we're all, we're all a bit panicky. Now. I'm afraid that's the end of the show because we have to go to bed now. <laughs>